Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever in the world you are. We are glad that you are with us. We wish to welcome you to the daily Bible study for the Selang Church of Christ. If you have been to our building, you know where we are. If, on the other hand, you are joining us from someplace else in the Philippines or someplace else in the world, we are located on the Bypass or Algonaldo Highway in Silang, Cavite, Philippines, at kilometer 42. This makes us about 30 kilometers or 30 miles or 50 kilometers south of downtown Manila. We are glad that you are with us, and we hope our study of God's Word is a benefit to you. As always, we'll start with a prayer request, and Epi, I'll let you take care of that, okay? Okay. Uh, Lord, before we start our Bible study, we would like to thank we would like to thank you for the another day of our life, and we thank you for the blessings that you have given to us in every day and to provide our daily needs. And we asking Lord for the uh, good health of sister of our sister Rochelle. And we asking Lord, and we thanks we thanks giving for the blessing, praying for the health and wisdom guidance, and protection for all of us and from Sister Pedrali. Uh, continuous healing for his mother, and good health for all of them, and for Vanessa. Uh, thanksgiving for everyday blessing that we have received in every day, and uh, for the promotion of our sister Senesa and to his son of that graduate, graduate today and to Mamukora. Uh, prayers for the people of Israel that have a peaceful election and uh, healing pra prayers to the Chilsoms and Dani, Ama, Ping, Faith, Irene, and Irene's brother and sister Doss mom and Katrina's mom and Katrina's mom Loida and for my prayer request uh, thank you for the blessing and always guide our my family in every day of their life and that's it. thank you good morning everyone um, today is a new topic we're going to start a new topic today and the new topic is going to be ordinary people. You see, this study is really about ordinary people that God made into extraordinary servants in his kingdom. You see, God knew the full potential of them and us. And he also knew that they were and we are capable of much more than we think. Many of the Bible characters that we study throughout the Old and the New Testament are simple people who loved God, and they did his will to the best of their ability in their lives. They rose even above their own expectations. You see, there's a concept here, and the concept is that God made all of us. So I'm going to go around the room here. Cora, can you give us one particular strength that you have? Strength. You're muted. One particular strength. I think um, as of now, one of one of that is probably encourage encouraging others or encouragement. Um, sometimes it's hard to control, you know. Control. Control what? Uh, <laughs> you know what? You no, know, control talking. Uh, uh, 
Very so. Marisol, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. Uh, sorry. Uh, okay. Sir. What is one your one what name one of your strengths? Um, sir, maybe I can help others the best uh the best of I can. <laughs> okay. Okay. And a weakness. Uh sir, sometimes I forgot. Uh, especially this uh, Bible study <laughs> because of <laughs> many things to do in the house. Okay. That's a fairly. Um, uh, so I think uh, one particular strength is to have a family, sir. Okay. Have a family. And a weakness? Uh, my weaknesses is sometimes I cannot attend uh, uh, Sunday 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 service, sir. Okay. Rochelle. My strength is to encourage my daughter and to all and all my niece to to, to to join here there in our okay. our church Sunday church and my weakness is when my mother got sick. Okay, Vanessa. Maybe sir, nowadays uh confident to uh, communicate to some people sir. Unlike before, I'm shy to all shy. <laughs> and my weakness, because sometimes, you know, being talkative, sometimes it's hard to zipper my mouth. That's why. Fred. I would say my strength is um, being able to take complex topics and explain them in a very simple way uh, in, in, a, in a training capacity. Uh, people have oftentimes told me uh, how I take, uh, how um, they find that beneficial. And I'd say a weakness is, you know, sometimes emotional uh, sensitivity um, and, and along those lines, especially when I feel people are taking advantage, you know, of people. I may be maybe correcting that judgment or not, but that is a sensitivity of mine that I find very can get under my skin very easily. Okay. Epi. Quick to judge that. Uh, sir, my <clears throat> strength is uh God gave me the ability and the knowledge to do my daily job and to to do my goal in life and my weaknesses to sometimes in problem from uh, my family problems so. <laughs> okay well i have a strength also in that i am fairly well spoken However, I have a weakness. I am terribly disorganized, and which is why I married Cora. I'll never be disorganized again. You see, the idea here is that we are all just ordinary people. There's really nothing new or novel that I'm going to teach during this class, and this first lesson is going to kind of lay out some groundwork for what we're going to study over the next few weeks and each lesson can stand as its own um we want success in this or in any other study endeavor is going to depend on your ability to explain and understand the scriptures you see um god made us 
That's absolutely true. Let's take a look at Psalm 100. Psalm 100, verse 3, Cora. Psalm 100, verse 3. It says, Know the Lord is God. <clears throat> it is he who made us, and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. So what we see is God made us, and we are his, right? Now, we can find the same thing in the New Testament. Let's go to Acts chapter 17. Acts chapter 17. Maricel, start us in verse 23, please. Acts chapter 17, verse 22 says, so, 23. It's okay. The con the text without context is a pretext for a proof text. So, <laughs> 22, get started there, Marisol. Okay. Acts chapter 17, verse 22. So, Paul, standing in the midst of the Areopagus, Areopagus, Areopagus said, Men of Athens, I perceive that in everywhere, in every way you are religious. 23. For us, I passed along and observed the objects of your worship. I found also an altar with this inscription To the unknown God, what therefore you worship as a known. This I proclaim to you. Okay. Early pick up. Twenty-four, sir. Yes, please. Uh, Twenty-four. The God who made the world and everything in it, being Lord of heaven and earth, does not live in temples made by them, made by man. God who made what? Made by man. God made what? Everything. God made everything. The world and everything in it. Quote the scripture, okay? Twenty-five, please. Rochelle? 25, nor is he served by human hands as though he needed anything, since he himself gives to all mankind life and breath and everything. So what does God give us? Breath and every, life and breath and everything. Okay. That's 25, 26, please, Vanessa. Yeah, exactly. Go ahead, Fred. Uh, now that... Uh, reading that verse, it seems like it's referring to God, not the Father, but God the Son. Would that be? Yes. Uh, understand, we've just got to study in the Trinity, uh, but God, the Son is the active creator. God is the planner, and the Holy Spirit kind of gives us life, for lack of a better explanation. Yes. God is the God. The Father is the planner. Jesus Christ is the executor or the executor or the creator, however you want to relate to that. And uh, for those texts, we can always look at John chapter one. In fact, Fred, go ahead and do that. John chapter one. So you would agree that uh, verse is referring to referencing yes. more specifically God, the, the son. Yes. Give me John 1.1. 1, 1. In the beginning was the Word. The Word was with God, and the Word was God. Okay, and now go ahead and give me 14, please. And the Word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we have seen his glory, glory as of the only Son, okay. from the full of grace and truth. Right. Now, uh, we can also take a look at Colossians chapter 1, verse 16. Colossians 1, 16, Epi. Colossians 
Colossians 1.16 said, uh, For by him all things were created in heaven and earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or domin dominions or rulers or authorities, all things were created through him and for him. So the creator is Jesus the Christ, right? Okay, going back to our Acts scripture, um, Epi, would you be so kind, please, to pick us up? I think we're in verse 26, Acts chapter 17, verse 26. Acts chapter 17, verse 26 says, um, And he made from one man every nation of mankind to live on all the face of the earth, having determined all, allotted periods and the boundaries of their dwelling place. Dwelling oh, place. Okay, and go ahead and give us 28, please, Fred. Fred, you're muted. Sorry about that. So the, I'm reading Acts 17, 28. Yes, please. It's for in him we live and move and have our being, as even some of your own poets have said, for we are indeed his offspring. Okay. Now, what did God use to make us? Cora, give us Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes 12 7, please. 12 7. Ecclesiastes 12 17. Seven. Oh, seven. There's no 17, it's only 14. Y'all got there? Okay. Se seven, it says, and the dust returned to the ground it came from, and the spirit returned to God who gave it. So where did we come from? From the dirt, right? Okay. Genesis, Genesis chapter three, verse 19. Marisol? Genesis chapter 3, verse 19. By the sweat of your face, you shall eat bread, till you return to the ground, for out of it you were taken. For you are dust, and you and to dust you shall return. So where did we come from? Dust. 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 Okay. Genesis chapter 2, verse 7, Farley. Genesis chapter 2, verse 7. Then the Lord God formed the man of dust from the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and the man became a living creature. So what we made, what we've seen is that God made us. God not only made us, he made us special. Mm -hmm. He made us out of dirt. We have to remember that dirt is important to God. Why? Because he created it, Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 3. Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 3, Rochelle. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 3. By faith, we understand that the universe was created by the word of God, so that what is seen was not made out of things that are visible. So what we see is that God created something from nothing, right? Okay. Let's take a look at Hebrews chapter 2. Hebrews chapter 2. Start us in verse 6, please, Vanessa. 
Hebrews chapter 2 verse 6 says, It has been testified somewhere, What is man that you are mindful of him, or the son of man that you care for him? Verse 7, please, Epi. And verse 7, You made him for a little while, lower than the angels. You have crowned him with glory and honor. Okay. Verse 8, please, Fred. But everything is subject under his feet. Now in putting everything in subject to him, he left nothing outside his control. At present, we do not yet see everything in subject to him. Okay. Nine, please, Cora. And verse nine, it says, But do we see Jesus who made, who was made lower than the angels for a little while, not crowned with glory and honor because he suffered death, so that by the grace of God, he might taste death for everyone? Tim, please, Marisol. Verse 10, for, for it was fitting that he, for whom and by whom all things exist, in bringing many sons to glory, should make the founder of their salvation perfect through suffering. And 11, please, Furley. Verse 11, for he who sanctifies and those who are sanctified all have one source. That is why he is not ashamed to call them brothers. Okay. You see, every person is important to God. And the reason we're important to God is because he is our creator. Uh, we're going to look at this right now, but we'll look at it more in one of our future classes. Romans chapter 1. Romans chapter 1. Start us in 18, Cora. Who read last? Fred, that was you, right? Who read last? Oh, okay. Rochelle, st sorry. We'll pick on you now, Rochelle. Romans chapter 1, verse 18. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men, who by either unrighteousness suppress, suppress, suppress the truth. Okay. Vanessa? 19, please. And verse 19. And if you are sure that you yourself are a guide to the blind, Light to those who are in darkness. 20, please, Epi. In verse 20, for his invisible attributes, namely his eternal power and divine nature, have been clearly perceived ever since the creation of the world. In the things that we have been made so, they are without excuses. Okay, and Fred, 21, please. You're muted, brother. Yes, 21. I, I want to make sure. Romans 1, 21? Yes, sir. Okay, for although they knew God, they did not honor him as God or give thanks to him, but they became futile in their thinking, and their foolish hearts were darkened. Okay, now, um, I've got some questions that I'm going to ask, and these are known as rhetorical questions. Good news is I'm not going to ask you to answer them out loud. However, I want you to keep track as to what these questions are. And I want you to answer because these are things we will hear in our society today. Number one, man created the idea of God. Is this true or is it false? 
You'll also see it said that our bodies are made up of natural elements. That's either true or it's false. Yeah. Our spiritual man is made in the likeness of God. Either it's true or it's false. God made the earth from nothing. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 3 tells us this, but it's either true or false. God is concerned about his creation, and this includes men. It's either true or it's false. So you might want to ask yourself some questions. Uh, why is Acts chapter 17, 23 to 28, an important text? That's the uh, Areopagus, Cora. And uh, what we see here is that this is an important text because even though these people were not seeking God, the Apostle Paul was able to bear witness to them, and some of them became Christian. The natural world can teach us many things about God. Uh, if we look at Psalm 19, if we look at Romans chapter 1, what we see is that there is absolutely a divine essence in the world and a creation of the way that it is. You might want to ask yourself, Name two things that all people have in common. So we want to keep those things in mind as we begin moving on and taking a look at ordinary people. And uh, we want to be sure that we get it. And since we only have four minutes remaining, we will save the next lesson for next class. And let's stop the broadcast. Whoops, let's not do that. <laughs>